There was a bounty on porcupines in Vermont for 50 years. Why? The porcupine is a species that's native to Vermont, and for thousands of years, its populations have been regulated by its main predator, the fisher. The fisher is a mustelid, a weasel, and like most weasels, it has a pelt that's considered desirable. So in the 1700s and the 1800s, when the Europeans were arriving to this area, they trapped pretty much all the fur-bearing species, the beaver, the fisher, the marten, and in so doing, removed the natural check on porcupine's population. So once the fisher were gone, the populations of porcupine exploded. One of the things that porcupine do is they nibble on tree bark. What they're mostly eating is what's called the tree's cambium, it's inner bark. And as they chew that off of trees, they can stress or even kill trees. So a little bit of that happening in the forest as it's been happening for millennia, totally normal. Where there's too many porcupines, suddenly it becomes really problematic. So what Vermont, as well as a bunch of other states in New England did, was they instituted a bounty. And this bounty, which started in 1903, said that if you turned in a pair of porcupine ears to the town clerk, they would issue you a bounty. The first time I heard about the porcupine bounty, I was hanging out with these three sisters, all three dairy farmers, all three in their 90s. And they were talking about when they hiked the long trail. Every time they would get to a shelter, it would just be full of porcupines and they would club all the porcupines and cut their ears off. And the next time they were in town, turn them into the town clerk and buy their supplies. Now, apparently there was also a fair amount of counterfeiting that was done. You could actually make a very convincing porcupine ear out of a piece of porcupine belly. Some people said you could get as many as 10 pairs of porcupine ears out of a single porcupine. Some of these porcupine bounties in New England lasted much later until like the 1970s. What really stopped them is that instead of prioritizing just paying people to kill these porcupines, wildlife agencies in New England started thinking about how do we actually solve that problem? And the way that they did it was by reintroducing the fisher. The fisher, or what most people know as the fisher cat, were reintroduced in Vermont in the 1960s, are now well established, and while porcupines still cause a little bit of mischief here and there, are not a huge problem anymore. And in addition to that, what's even better is that we've had one of our native species that was lost from this landscape returned.